Imagine being 16 years old and featured in a national magazine as an up-and-coming businessman. Well, that's what happened to Chase Reed, a teenager from New York who was named one of Forbes' 30 people to watch under the age of 30, all because he took his passion and turned it into a business. Shelby Holiday is back with his story on today's Generation Money. Yeah, these are the Game Blue 11s. They're known as sneakerheads. These right here are the Bread 11s. Collectors of flashy footwear whose passion goes all the way down to their soul. The rubber sole with the carbon fiber, the patent leather. And it's good news for 16-year-old Chase Reed, who is hoping to cash in on the cool kicks. These are probably about six to eight hundred dollars. Wow. He had a money-making idea that started with his father. I was spending all my money on sneakers, so when I went to go out with my friends or buy an outfit to match the sneakers, he would give me money and I'll give him my sneakers. And you had to pay him back. Yeah, and I had to pay him back. And then he would add interest. Like it was like it was like business between me and my father. So together they created a real business. The two transformed their Harlem apartment in New York into Sneaker Pond, a store that specializes in high-end sneakers. You can trade them, you can buy, sell, customize, refurbish. But what really sets them apart is they also allow you to pawn your shoes. If you need money, you can bring in your new or lightly worn sneakers to the store, and they'll give you a little less than the shoe's original retail price. We basically give them what they paid, like say if the sneaker was 180, we'll give them probably 160. Sneaker Pond then holds onto your shoes until you can afford to buy them back, with a $30 a month storage fee tacked on as well. And if they don't come back? And if they don't come back, the sneakers is ours. And they go off with their 160. And you can sell it? Yeah, now we have a $400 sneaker that we just paid 160. So you can sell it for more? Yes. Sneakerheads have been a part of pop culture for over two decades. Yo! Filmmaker Spike Lee and Michael Jordan kicked off the movement in this Nike ad when they asked, You sure it's not the shoes? And since then, the shoe game has not been the same. When Nike's limited edition Air Foam Posit Ones went on sale last year, thousands of people lined up in advance, many of them hoping to resell the shoe. In 2013, Americans spent $22 billion on sneakers. But it's the resale market that's really exploding. Sales on eBay nearly doubled from 2012 to 2013. Chase sold dozens of shoes in his own personal collection to help get his business up and running. But he hopes it's the demand for rare sneakers that will keep Sneaker Pond on its feet. The most expensive sneaker is the Crown Jewels, the LeBron. LeBrons, yes, the LeBron 10s. How much are they worth? They will retail at 185 Now they're reselling for more than $1,000. But Chase says for him, Sneaker Pond is more than just a business. This is a place where we want sneakerheads to be born and even if you're not a sneakerhead, we want you to just, you know, be part of the movement, part of the, like, the aviance of the store. And while it's too soon to tell whether Sneaker Pond is exactly what sneaker heads have been missing, he hopes that his investment will pay off every step of the way. It's just something about the sneaker game. It's gonna always, it's gonna always be around. Shelby Holiday, check out my kicks. Channel One News. Thanks, Shelby. Okay, so for some cool ideas on how to make some extra cash, head over to channel1.com.